Babe, look at him. That's it. He's so freaking cute. It's cute. You're cute. Uh, um, you guys are cute. <laughs> Hey, God bless you guys. Welcome to the second episode of Aquaman. And on this episode, I'm gonna share with you guys a story on how we came across this little guy right here. All right, so about two nights ago, my girlfriend's brother, he came to the house and he's like, I got a surprise for you guys. So we were like, what? So then he came and he showed us the kid. And so we were like, like, where did you find his cat? And then I guess he was driving and he saw it like on the road next to a gas station, just brought it to us. And when I picked up the kitten, I noticed that it was literally just skin and bones. Like, this kid has not been with his mom for a couple of days. I asked him like, what are you gonna do with it? Like, if you don't want it, like I'm willing to keep it. So he actually gave us the kitten. So now we have a cat. <laughs> nah, but guys, on some serious note, like if you guys ever find an animal, don't just keep it because you think it's cute. Don't keep it because because you want to be cool and like, oh, I saved it. No, like if you're gonna keep an animal, make sure that you take the proper steps actually keeping these animals because when you find an animal, out in the wild, you usually don't know where they came from. You don't really know anything about this animal, if they carry rabies, or if they have any diseases that you can actually bring to your house or give your other animals if you have other animals. So yesterday we took the kitten to the vet just to make sure that everything was all right with the kitten, just to make sure like that we were actually doing the right thing for the cat. And thankfully everything came out good. He was too young. They said he was about four to five weeks old, so they couldn't really give him the shots yet. But they did, they warned him, they checked his fecal, making sure he didn't have any parasites or anything. Thankfully everything came out negative. So now we got a little baby kitten. His name is actually Simba, and he's named after the greatest lion of all times. <laughs> and as you can see right now, he doesn't really do much. He usually just sits around. He does sleep a lot, but I'm sure it has a lot to do with how young he is and how skinny he actually was. Like I said, the vet said that he's about maybe four to five weeks old, and he was literally under a pound. His cat is extremely malnourished, and he did have a lot of fleas. I've been taking care of that too. And he has been eating a lot more, which is a great sign. So he's probably gonna start playing with his toys soon. And if you guys wanna see all this, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I will be posting updates about him in the next couple of videos. Guys, so now I'm gonna go to the fish tank over there and I'm gonna give you guys an update on how the beta is doing. As you can see, like, they've actually been doing really good. The beta, He's not really bothering the neon tetras or the neon tetras aren't really bothering the beta. So that's a good thing. I did add these plants right here. I don't really know what they're called and I don't really know if they're even gonna survive. I'm actually new to the to the whole live plants thing. So if you guys have any tips, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. But as you can see, he's absolutely beautiful. He's just swimming around doing what he likes to do. Find all this waste right here. I'm actually gonna do a water change tomorrow. So next time you guys see the tank, that's not going to be there. I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any video ideas for me in the future, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. And just take it easy on me. I'm still new at this. I'm still trying to get used to talking to the camera and stuff. So until next time, peace.